Isang nakakatuwang balita para dito sa ating kabayan na si Kai Soto na siguradong nagbigay ng hype para sa ilang Filipino fans. Yan ay matapos mong ilike ang video na ito, mag-subscribe sa ating channel at pakidamay na rin ang ating opisyal na Facebook page. Alam mo bang dito sa Phoenix Game, eh talaga namang liliyabang dibdib mo sa mga big prices na hatid ng app na ito. Kaya naman wag nang magdalawang isip pa at mag-download na. Well, kaninang umaga nga mga bulero, e eh, pawang kabilang sa mga pinag-usapan natin ay itong pagkakasama ni Kai dito sa isang palabas ng NBL Australia. Kung saan dyan, e eh, kanilang pinag-usapan ang mga players nasa kanilang palagay e eh, mataas ang tsyansa na makakapasok this NBA draft. At pawang dito ay eh, napabilang sa kanilang listahan ng ating pambato. Na ngayong linggo lang ay eh, nakapagtala ng kanyang panibagong career high sa NBL kontra sa kopuna ng Brisbane Bullets. Matapos bumirada sa nasabing laban ng 21 points Nasa taong ito ay eh, kumakana ng almost 7 points per game 4.5 rebounds per contest At 0.7 blocks para sa Sixers Kaya naman dahil dyan ay eh, talagang di maiwasan na mapag-usapan Itong matagal ng plano ng ating kabayan Na tumungtong sa mundo ng NBA Kung saan kahapon nga mga bulero ay eh, maliban dito sa palabas ng NBL Na pawang kinabilangan itong ating pambato ay eh, kahapon din eh kasama sa mga nanotes ng ESPN Australia itong si Kai sa kanilang palabas. Guys, see there's no sugar coating it because the Adelaide 36ers they've had a disappointing yep. season, but the one shining light is Kai Soto. His development, how have you seen it this season? Yeah, I love this kid. I think that he's still a young man learning the game and uh, physically if he can get a little bit better. This season we he's shown that uh, he can finish around the rim anytime a guy of his size 6 263 is going to get a look in at that next level but uh, what he has shown is the ability to pass the ball with that size his passing ability the way he can read the game and uh, as he matures and gets a bit a bit better understanding there's no reason to think why, why this guy can't get an opportunity at the next level Ooh, so potentially could you see him playing in the NBA and if that was the case what's he going to need to do to improve yeah I think the, the improvement cut just comes with that physical development I think he's got to get stronger he's got to be able to guard people and he's dealing with some big big bodies athletic bodies in the NBA the way he can push them around and use his strength to keep people off the box those types of things uh, are important and I think also when you think of the NBA these days and even whether it's a four man or a five man in that category he's going to slide into got to be able to shoot the ball I like his technique fundamentally he's sound so he keeps working on that that range can spread the floor then uh, I think there's a good prospect anytime you've got a guy of his size you're yeah. going to get a really good look in at the next level so you're thinking maybe just another 12 months in the NBL and he might be right to go yeah it's going to take some time it's going to take some time for him physically yeah. to develop But also, he's got to learn the game, the different styles of play, all those types of things have to kick in. And, and what we've seen with his growth this year in the NBL, where at the start of the season, we're thinking, oh, you know, he's going to be a bits and pieces player. He's developed his game enough where he's become a significant part of what the Adelaide 36ers can do. I think they are more familiar with what his skill sets are. And the role next season with the Adelaide 36ers, I think is going to be pivotal to his development. And I think the Adelaide 36ers would love to have him back. Oh, he's certainly one to watch. So, yun lamang para sa video na ito, mga bolero. Nawa ay nagustuhan mo. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.